Rockathaya Hawa, Rockathaya Hawa Shah, Rockathaya Hawa, Rockathaya Hawa Shah, all praise unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rikha Kadash, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shah being the name of His only begotten Son, who they evenly call Jesus Christ. Now we see these uh, calamities going on. So, Lockie, let me put this on. Do not disturb. So, Lockie, when we see these calamities <clears throat> going on um, in the land of Israel, we understand that this is the Lord's prophecy coming to pass. And in a statement I heard from the brethren, they says like these uh, Edomites and these Israelites, they in our house fighting each other, throwing stuff around in our house, complaining and trying to see who's going to have the power in our house and in our on our land. You see, and when you look at this uh this president of uh the state of Israel, he was giving an address at the um UN uh assembly and he was saying talking about Moses and he was saying that the children of Isaac and the children of Ishmael it's, it's a hopeful that they would have peace with each other. This was two weeks before uh, all of this news came out about the, uh, them warring against each other. Now, um, he right there in that statement showed how these Arabs is from Ishmael and these uh, Edomites understand that they not the, the people because he could have said Jacob and Ishmael but he said the sons of Isaac see because he know that they coming from Edom and not Jacob and so when you go into the scriptures it shows you who what will be going on with that land real quick let's get um Started off with Luke. Luke 21 talks about that land. What will be happening in that land in the last days? Because mind you, uh, Luke Luke was coming off of Luke 21 24 is coming off of verse 7 and saying after they asked him saying master but when shall these things be and what sign would be would there be when these things shall come to pass so there, he was <clears throat> it was asking him what's going to be the sign of you coming and he get he finally got to verse 24 to say and they shall fall by the edge of the sword talking about the Israelites and shall be led away captives into all nations and Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles it would be Gentiles in Jerusalem when he come until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. So until he come, because when he come, the Gentile time is over. That's why I'm 27. He's saying, then shall the, the son of man come in a cloud with power and great glory. You see, and another thing with that land and uh, Ezekiel what, 36 and... Five, it says, Therefore, this is the Lord God, surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen, the Gentile, and against all Idumia, meaning the Edomites, which have appointed my land into their possession with the joy of all their hearts, with the spiteful minds to cast it out for a prey. So the Edomites will have that land when the Gentiles and the heathen is stomping that land down. Okay, then we go on to Amos. 
chapter one, it tells you who all the main players in the game. Look at verse six. It says, Thus says the Lord, for three transgressions of Gaza and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because they carried away captive the whole captivity to deliver them up to Edom. Now, when you look at this Gaza, you know you got the Gaza Strip over there. But this is also showing you how all of these uh, Arab nations that's around is starting to focus on this thing and support Gaza because this is this is their people living in that on that strip. So this Gaza represents the Arabs. You see, look at verse seven. It says, "But I will send fire on the wall of Gaza." which shall devour the palaces thereof. You see, because this is what's going to be happening at the end. This is when the punishment comes. And he said, I will not turn away the punishment thereof. The punishment is going to end up being when God, before Yahweh shall come, throw fire on that place. That's why he calls them the, the Edomites to do what they do because they delivered up the Israelites to the Edomites. Then the Edomites is going to be attacking Nabahan. But the Lord is causing all this to happen. Then it get Baruch. Baruch 4 and 35. It says, For fire shall come upon her from the everlasting. See, not just going to come from, come to Gaza, but it's all going to come upon the, in Jerusalem. It says, long to, the, 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 uh, long to endure, and she shall be inhabited of devils for a great time. So when the fire come upon her, these devils, these Edomites, is going to be there. The, the great deceivers, they're going to be in that land. Old Jerusalem, see, they're going to be in that land when that fire come on their behind. So the fire going to come to the where the fire is coming to the Ishmaelites in that over there in Gaza, and it's gonna go to other parts of the Ishmael. Then fire gonna come, it's going, not gonna come, but it's going over there to um these Edomites that's living in our land. So this is this clear prophecy showing how these people done took the land and um they in the land. Look at um look at verse six of um but look at verse five because it's it's showing how these people is always mentioned. It says Ascalon see shall see it and fear God also shall see it and be very so sorrowful. Okay, so this this is showing how these people all that gonna see these things it's good. look at what um good night look at verse four it say the Lord will cast her out and he shall smite her power in the sea and she shall be devoured with fire see he always coming with fire verse six is saying a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod meaning somebody that don't supposed to be there and I will cut off the pride of the Philistine. You see, so the Lord is attacking these people for dwelling in that land. See, they don't supposed to be in that land, and he is attacking them with fire, as he prophesied to do. Okay, now you got, um, let's see. Where is it? Isaiah. Isaiah 46 and 10. It says, Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. See, he prophesied that he's going to have these Edomites and Gentiles in that land, and they're going to be fighting over the land. Look at... um. Joel, Joel chapter 3, and um, point I want to 
get is in where is it? Oh, verse two, it says, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there, mean war with them for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nation and parted my land. How do they part that land? Because it's uh, different Gentiles in that land. The Edomites and the Arabs is, is um been occupying that land. And so he preparing war. This is what he bringing them together for. Look at verse 11. Assemble yourselves and come, all you heathen, and gather yourselves together round and about they the cause the mighty ones to come down. See, they mighty in the earth right now. They are mighty, they the mighty ones in the earth right now. And he said, prepare this among the Gentiles. The Gentiles is in that land, trotting, trotting Jerusalem down. And he's telling them to prepare war. Wake up the mighty man. Let, let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. See, this is what the Most High is doing. And he's going to come to a climax. It's going to get to a climax in Revelation 19 and 19. It's going to be the climax. Saying, I saw the beast and the kings of the earth, meaning Esau, Edom, that red beast, that red dragon, and all the other kings of the earth, all the other Gentiles, and their army gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army. So he, he ruffling them up getting them ready so he can kick they behind. And this is what he coming to do, to burn them off that land and to destroy Babylon, the great America, and the uh, two-thirds and these Edomites is not going to make it out of America alive. They're going to be burnt, uh, burnt with ashes, burnt into ashes. And the only thing might be left is a bunch of bones was that uh, Ezekiel 39. But I'm going to leave it down. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Yahweh The one to the elders pushing the truth, peace to the elect worldwide, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, descendants of slaves scattered around the globe on slave ships and through many captivities. Our kingdom is at hand. Shalom.